Hello and welcome to Big Helmet Heroes, which um, I covered yesterday, technically speaking. Um, but I apparently forgot the proper way how to use my mic. So instead of talking to be recording the video, I just prattled on a bunch of stuff about um, my experience with the game and uh, was able to share that with no one. So here I am doing it again. Which isn't something I do all the time. Sometimes, you know, uh, mistakes happen or I purposely don't have uh, a desire to speak. But I figured, you know, I would do this again. A, a nice excuse to play. And, uh, you know, it was obviously something you couldn't really tell when I was playing. I was having a heck of a ton of fun. So. I don't know what the flowers do. I still haven't figured that out. Um, but yeah, you know, I really enjoyed playing Castle Crashers. It was probably like one of my favorite beat em ups of all time. Just because it was like whimsical, it, it had some a nice degree of comedy. Uh, the, the, there were different, you know, um, knights you could use. Like just. Uh, they just kind of made it like a, a really unique experience. You know, so many characters, so many different weapon types. It was just so much fun. And uh, so when I saw Big Helmet of Heroes, I was like, you know what? This looks like it's potentially going to be a bit like uh, Castle Crashers, one of my favorite games of all time. So, um... I'm definitely going to give this a shot and see if it, uh, you know, lives up to my my hopes and dreams, and you know what? It absolutely does. Um, I ran into a couple of issues with the demo yesterday where um, there, was a, there was a couple of times where I managed to find a way to not progress. Uh, basically, the game didn't seem to really register that I had defeated enemies. Which was, uh, you know, really unfortunate. But I'm hoping not to run into those issues today. So I would expect today's video to be actually slightly longer or relatively close to the same time frame uh, that it was yesterday, depending on if everything goes well. Trying to get through this portion as quickly as possible. I'd really like to get to like somewhere new, you know? Like I dare you I guess I can't skip this. Oh well, that's fine. I'm curious if like when we play the full game, if we get to like start as whatever character we want, as opposed to having to choose or unlock them as we go, kind of the way it kind of the way it worked out. But it looks like one, two, three, four. It looks like there's at least nine characters, potentially. glad that our primary enemies seem to be goblins. Goblins are always my... well, I don't want to say they're my favorite, but they're always one of my favorite enemies to fight. I think it's probably because I'm a big D&D &D fan. And in most cases, like almost every time, uh, goblins are essentially always evil. 
which makes it a little bit easier to fight them because you know they're bad, you know, there's no like saving grace to them. They're just awful creatures. And, you know, there's no saving grace. They are very specifically evil. I'm also a huge fan of the anime Goblin Slayer. I liked its uh, dark and gritty take on everything. That, and it basically feels like a, an animated, you know, homemade Dungeons and Dragons story where they decided in the beginning that it was just going to be a goblin slaying campaign. But then after a little bit of time, they were like, you know, let's um, just make it um, a little bit more intense. really enjoyed the ability to kind of switch characters rather quickly. I would say this is probably the only part of the game that I'm not a fan of. Last time I went up, um, but yeah, this is probably the only part that I haven't been a fan of is this kind of top-down section. It, like, it looks fine and everything, but I don't know, it's just... It's like such a stark change from what I was doing before that my mind is like... Why are things different? I miss things the way they were. But overall, like I think little sections like this will be good to kind of break up the uh, the status quo, I guess. It's just going to be a nice change every once in a while, as long as it's not like overused. That was unexpected, but I guess that's what I get for going a different way. Man, that's better. Oh, it was like a dead end. Oh, what a disappointment. Because there's like, um, there's a character there, and I wanted to get him this time. But I haven't figured out how to get to them, which is uh, a little bit on the disappointing side. Well, it's not this way. Uh, maybe it's this way. Well, this character better be really good if I actually get to them.
Like, I don't want to spend, like, a crazy amount of time trying to find that character, but at the same time, like, I don't know, you know, what that character is going to be, and they might be better than the character that I had before. You know, so last time, I, uh, you know, I found another guy that's very similar to this guy, which, you know, I like this character, but I would like to try out the other one if I can. I wish they had a way for you to automatically stop using your attack. Because, you know, once you get to a certain point, you don't need to keep using your special attack. I do definitely wish it was a little bit uh, better, like it had like a stopping point. Like, overall, I don't think it's like a huge deal. I think it seems to be specific for this character, but... Alright. Still not figuring out where this dude is. I mean, I just... I cannot figure out... Oh, actually, I think I figured it out. He's on the other side of the lava. I just didn't think I was going to be able to do it, and now I don't remember how to get there. So... I'm going to find it. Well, whatever it is that I'm going to get better be worth it. Oh, he's got like a... Actually, he looks like he's probably very similar to the character, like the first night. I definitely like that everyone thus far has had their own kind of like unique uh, attack, special attack, like the word I'm looking for. I like that all the other knights are kind of like watching, you know, instead of like helping, they're just like, let's just watch all this happen. But at the same time, I wonder like, what, what are they doing? Like, is it, like, they're just like following me in the shadows? It's like a golem situation. Following Frodo and Sam as they progress through their trip to Mordor. Where one does not simply walk, except for they pretty much did just walk straight into Mordor, so I don't really know what they were... Th what was Boromir thinking, you know? Like, spoiler alert, I mean, if you haven't read one of the greatest fantasy books of all time, I mean, you're just missing out. Or if you haven't read the book, you can always watch the movies. I feel like 
this is like this character is very very similar to the the, the first night. I think it's like if I had one complaint uh, about the experience, it would be that the characters, you know, even though they're, you know, seemingly distinct, they are very similar in, in a way. Yeah, his attacks are basically the same. Minus a special attack, where he pulls an Ant-Man. Or Giant Man, I guess. Ooh, or that girl from Seven Deadly Sins. Well, except for she's a giant all the time, except for they use magic to make her small. It doesn't matter. You got me some more flowers, little furry friend. I still don't know what the flowers are for. And not knowing where the flowers means I'm less likely to pick them up, just because I don't really know if it's actually worth it. I think they might be tied to, like, the score you get, but... Outside of, like, looking at numbers and saying, look what I've done, I, I don't necessarily know that there's anything that's a, a real value for that score. And I think the game stands really, uh, really well on its own. Like, it doesn't require, you know, you know, high score points to be like, look what you've done, you know, like, good job. I think it does a surprisingly large amount uh, with its, you know, just really entertaining combat and the comical nature of it. Like, when I say this game reminds me of Castle Crashers, I mean it in like, the best possible way. Like, I mean, Castle Crashers definitely had its very unique kind of visual style. Uh, you know, the animations were crisp. The story was, you know, very comical. It was definitely a, a funny joke of sorts. You had princesses, which was cool. Um, obviously, we haven't seen any princesses here, but, you know, we've got a huge assortment of weapons, um, multiple knights we can use, you know, goblins. But the biggest thing, of course, you know, we have just really satisfying combat with the, the combos. I do wish that maybe there is and I just haven't seen it yet. I don't know, I haven't really looked into it to see if it is a thing. But I definitely wish we had a bit more, or not really a bit more because I haven't seen any of it. But I do wish we had kind of like a, like a leveling system or something just to kind of like do progression. As much as it's cool to be like, well, you know, I've been a badass this entire time, it would have been nice to start from, you know, not necessarily, like, being in a complete badass perspective, you know, maybe, maybe my knights are pretty good, but they're not, like, super great. And then as time goes, you know, actually uh, unlock some new characters or abilities, some strength, add some speed, uh, you know, just add little things that just make your character a bit stronger. I, I feel like that would have been a cool addition. I mean, it doesn't seem to be something that's going to be part of the game. It could be, that I just not available in the demo. I don't know. It ultimately doesn't matter. It's not required. I think the game is great without it. 
And this is where I couldn't progress yesterday. So hopefully, no issues this time. Alright, good. Oh yeah, what is this guy's special power? A slow motion thing. I mean, that's kind of cool, but... been bowling uh, in person in a really long time. I have a hard time with it. It's not uh, so much that like it's because I'm not good at bowling, because I mean, I'm not. But uh, something about the crashing of the the pins, the noise, uh, sometimes the lights, it just kind of causes me some issues. Um, And, um, yeah, I mean, like, I, I have to say that one of the biggest disappointments I've run into with this demo so far is just, there's so many times it just seemingly feels like I'm not going to be able to progress. Like, there's, I think there needs to be an indication that there is an enemy uh, that you've forgotten about, uh, you know, somewhere off screen so you can go back and find them or, you know, so you can find them in general. I like that we have an old boy scene here. Not the, not the one with Josh Brolin and Elizabeth Olsen, but the original Korean version that was fantastic. Although, I will admit, it was really nice to see um, Elizabeth Olsen in that movie because she was a great actress. She was always a delight to watch in every movie I've seen her in. She's probably like my celebrity crush. Which I don't know, that's like a weird thing. Like, I don't know who says that, but of celebrities that I have found to be like theoretically people that seem like just really nice and everything, uh, Elizabeth Olsen's been like the number one for, three, for years. Alright, well, I guess we're, um,. I guess we're just gonna do it this way because we're we're stuck in his mouth. I believe that my dudes have a shield, but there's not really a way for me to use the shield. This guy doesn't do much damage, so he's not like a, what I would consider a difficult boss.
probably should have used my uh, laser dude. I feel like he would have been a much better choice. Sorry, robot monster. There's definitely a lot of aspects that I've seen where there's there's definitely some work to be done, things that need to be kind of tuned up and fixed. Um, like that boss fight, like I don't feel like I should have been able to cheese it as much as I did. Like, I mean, I was cheesing the crap out of it. Um, well, I guess that's it at the demo. Well, it's unfortunate. I was having such a good time. Well, anyway, there you go. There, There is this video again this time with um, my thoughts being rattled on as I play. I really like it. I imagine it would be equally fun with another player. Uh, but man, by, even by yourself, it's fantastic. So this is definitely going to be one of my favorite demos from Next Fest. Highly recommend it. I think you'll absolutely love it. Um, the link is in the description. And remember, if you like it, hit that wishlist button right there. It turns yellow so you don't forget.